Hey, this is John from Tech Size. Today I have a mini unbox and a mini review with benchmarks of the MSI GTX 970 gaming 4GB card. Uh, just to save time, I've already unboxed the contents because I want to spend more time talking about the actual card performance and that sort of thing. So in the box you're going to get a DVI to VGA adapter, a quick user manual which folds out into an absolutely enormous document talks about how to install the card, generic sort of things. We've got a 6 pin to 8 pin adapter. I'll show you guys why soon. Uh, generic sort of MSI catalog of other products. Uh, on the box we've got a mention of the 4 gigabyte of memory to PCI Express 3.0 support for DirectX 11. This is obviously the overclocked edition because it's the gaming card. Twin for us are 5, we're going to talk a lot about that uh, on Z-Back. Again, a lot of information about the Twin Frozer 5, so that's where I want to start. So obviously the clues in the name 5, this is the sort of fifth sort of generation of the design. Uh, we've seen the Twin Frozer evolve a lot over the years and this is definitely the most interesting and efficient uh, cooler that MSI have to date. So, so what we have is what MSI is dubbing Torx fan technology which claims to be 19% more efficient in terms of airflow due to the propeller blade design. Um, we're going to have 5% lower noise when that's pitted against the Twin Frozer 4, that's at 100% fan speed. We've now got independent fan control, that means one fan can work independent of the other and in some cases you might have one fan spinning here and not here or the reverse depending on which part of the card needs the cooling at any given point. So if your memories running extremely hot you'll have this fan running if it's the core it's going to be that if it's both they're going to be working in unison um, but the nicest feature that pops out is so on the opposite end of the scale of things are nice and cool particularly in idle or less demanding games this is going to run at zero decibels the fans are going to stop completely now the actual heat pipe is uh, a slightly different de design to what we've seen on the other cards. This has been dubbed as the Super SU architecture. It's claiming 40% higher heat pipe efficiency. We've got two 8mm pipes and a further two 6mm. And you can just get a bit of a look here. The design is definitely different. This working in unison with the new fan design is going to be a lot more efficient. There's something else to mention, it may be visible but I will bring in another card with a twin frozer for comparison's sake. Even though this is a dual slot solution, uh, it's it's thinner than normal and this means if you're going to stack them up in SLI, you're just going to have this little bit extra breathing room between the cards when you stack them up. Again, that's going to help with cooling. So obviously under the hood we've got the VRMs covered, we've got uh, a heatsink for the memory, an interesting feature is the reverse power connectors here, which incidentally MSI have gone for an 8 pin and a 6 pin solution rather than the 2 6 pin from the reference design. This additional power is going to be a benefit when it comes to overclocking, of course. Now, because it's the overclock gaming edition, the core is set to 1140 megahertz, which is obviously above the reference and that can boost to 1279 you've got 7 gig on the memory or 7000 megahertz if you prefer so we'll just do a tour of the card starting firstly on connectivity let's see what MSI have gone for I'll just remove the dust covers and what we have is dual DVI and DVI-D with a single HDMI and a single display port we'll just bring the card around here Got some dragon, dragon army. I expected that to say a dragoon, but it's actually dragon now. And then we have the two independent fans here. The left side's more focused on a very, very bold red section, and this accents into the smaller red pieces here. And it's just a really nice balance between the red and the black. Works extremely well. Let's we'll look at it from this angle. It's considerably lower than I expected in terms of profile. You can definitely see it. I'm going to bring in another card in a second, as I mentioned. You can see some heat sink on here. That covers right around underneath. And you can see that it wraps all the way around here. 
and this is the new heat pipe design again I'm going to bring in that other card if you haven't seen one before it'll make more sense I'm just going to have a look on the back now it is a, quite a busy looking PCB and ideally it should have had a back plate uh, not critical but you can see here there are some memory chips clearly visible so I do wonder how much of a factor that may be when it comes to overclocking so as I mentioned I'm going to bring in a twin throws or card I'm not going to compare the two directly and just sort of spot any key differences so then guys what I have here is a twin throws or 4 and this is on a MSI 270X I'll just layer them this sort of way you can see just how much thinner the twin throws or 5 is but also the heat pipe design you notice here we only have a single pipe now things are quite similar in terms of the VRM and the, the memory plates they're all quite similar they're not quite as beefy and as big on the twin throws or 4 again we didn't have a back plate but one thing to point out is some of the twin throws or 4 cars God, sorry, actually had a, a brown PCB and they just didn't look great so all the twin throws are 5 cards are going to have a black PCB for sure so perhaps if I just put them at this angle and I'll bring the cam up you guys can probably appreciate just how much thinner and hopefully that shot is showing the clear difference about the twin throws are 5 just being that little bit more discreet so when you stack them up in SLI you've obviously got that little bit extra breathing room now overclocking with the MSI GTX 970 gaming edition was an absolute breeze using the MSI afterburner uh, just to increase the voltage to the max what the software will allow which is plus 87 I put a whopping plus 500 on the memory which brought us all the way up to just over 2000 now the core I could get that to settle at 1325 um, that was 100% stable but what that means when we come to boost in terms of heavy gaming we're actually breaking over 1500 megahertz which is very impressive um, all, all out of the box ridiculously good so um, I've got the slideshows now you can glance through them if you wish I always recommend that you head off to the full review depending on what sort of device you're on if you're on your mobile I do understand I just want to see the numbers but the description will have the full review link That's pretty much going to wrap it up, it's the second 970 GPU that we've had here in the last week um, and I absolutely love it, it's going to be really interesting to see what else comes along to better this because it has seriously left a very positive stamp here. So I'd like to thank MSI for providing the review sample and we should be bringing more content in the near future. If the video has been of any use hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know anything you didn't like leave a dislike and a comment and if you want to keep in the loop hit the sub button for exclusive content coming soon